In this video, we're going to move away from the two-dimensional world and talk more about the three-dimensional world. And by solids here, I mean kind of geometrical, geometric solids, um, where we're going to talk more about volumes here. We also will talk a little bit about area, but mostly about volumes. Now, the SAT gives you two formulas that you need to know. And I will go over those uh, as we go over the different shapes. And in general, those are the only two you're going to need to know. You don't need to know, for instance, the formula for the area of a cone or a pyramid. And I don't think you need to know the formula for sphere either. So it's pretty much just the volumes of the uh, solids that are given in the table at the beginning of every math section. All right, so let's talk about some of these shapes. The first one that you need to know is the cube. So the cube looks like this. And this is really just a special, that is not a very good cube. This is just a special case of what is called, this is a cube, what is called a rectangular prism uh, or rectangular solid. Uh, so something maybe like this. And the formula for this is given on the reference chart. And the formula is you've got a length, you've got a width, so right, you got a width and a height. And the volume for this is just length times width times height. So by analogy, the cube, even though the only difference here is the length, width, and height are all the same, it's just S, right? So the volume, just like for the square, the sides are all the same. The volume for a cube is just going to be S cubed or side cubed, whatever. So that's one you definitely need to know. Another one you need to know is the right or the... Um, What's the name of it again? Right circular cylinder. So a circular cylinder, essentially. So that would be a case where you've got these two bottoms, kind of like a can, essentially, a can shape. And the volume for this is just going to be pi r squared h, where h is the height of the cylinder, and r, is, as you expect, is the radius. And in general, if we talk about any uh, solids, any prisms or cylinders or anything like that, a prism or a cylinder, let's take this case of a triangular prism, um, is just two shapes of the same thing connected by these lines like follows. Um, these are rectangular faces that connect these uh, congruent polygons here. So you could have a triangular prism, you could have a hexagonal prism, I don't know if I'm able to draw this, we'll see how this turns out. Uh, let's see this, like this, like that, like that, I mean, not great. You get the idea, right? So you've got these faces on the bottom and these rectangular faces that connect them, right? And you could have, and even this uh, this guy right here is just a circular prism, right? It's the same kind of idea. You've got two polygons being connected by these, I guess they're not rectangular faces, but, you know, by this kind of circular face, I guess you can call it, uh, curved surface more generally. Um, also, so these generally... If you think about this one, this is just the area of the face, which is pi r squared, times the height. It's going to be the same thing for these. The area of this guy is just going to be the area of this, a, times the height, whatever the height is. Same thing here, the area of this times whatever this height is, h. Now, you're really never going to have to find the areas of these. Um, you just got to know that they exist, these kind of solids exist. Uh, you don't have to memorize any formulas. So, same thing for like these, uh, this uh, cone. There's a formula for this area of a cone with a circular base and a triangle. Uh, there's areas for a pyramid, but you don't need to know that either. That's a terrible picture. So you've got a pyramid, it's got a square base. Also a sphere, you don't need to know the area or the volume of a sphere. You don't need to know the volume of any of these things. Uh, but they might show up. If they show up, they're probably going to ask you for something different, or they're going to ask you to... Um, or they're going to ask you to kind of estimate something. Uh, so in general, the ones you got to worry the most about are the ones they give you uh, formulas for. So the areas of these rectangular prisms and also the area of this uh, circular prism, uh, or circular cylinder, I should say. Uh, let's see, one other thing is surface area. Surface area. So let's say we had a rectangular prism like so. Like this, like this, good. Better picture. And I didn't want to know its volume. I want to know its surface area. What is surface area? Well, it's just the sum of all of the faces, the areas of all these faces here. All right, so I can shade these in various colors to try to highlight it a bit. So here's another one. Then you're going to have one in the back right here, right? The one in the back that's facing away from us. You're going to have one on the bottom, which we can't see, and then one on the side, which we can't see. So there's six faces. 
And the surface area is just the sum of all of those areas. The probably easiest one we can look at is the cube, because the cube is going to have equal faces, right? These are all squares. So if this, say, this side is 2, that means the area of this square here, this front face, would be 2 times 2 is 4. And so there, since there are 6 faces, the surface area of this would just be 6 times 4, which is 24. They're not really going to ask you that much about it. Um, but if they do, it is good to know uh, what exactly to do with that kind of a problem. Um, and that's pretty much it when it comes to solids. Again, the key things to remember are how to figure out the volumes of cubes, rectangular prisms, and uh, circular cylinders.